Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And today's tutorial will be on a Dell Inspiron 1420 laptop computer. That's this computer here. And I'm going to be showing you all how to, one, identify where the RAM is located on this system. And two, if you are, if you are looking to upgrade and or increase or, or remove the RAM of this, uh, of this laptop computer, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to identify the compartment and remove the actual RAM, where to order the upgrade or the new RAM, and um, how to install it. So, with your attention, let's begin. The first thing you want to do on this any computer before you work on any laptop is make sure that there's no power going to the laptop. Of course, you don't want to mess anything up. So, you want to first make sure that the power is not plugged into the laptop. There it is. You also want to make sure that the battery is in fact missing from the computer and not plugged into the compartment and this one you can see that it is gone and I've actually taken that out already. Um, what I also do as just precaution I also press and hold the power button for just you know 10 to 15 seconds to make sure that the, if there is any power still within the system that it is gone. Okay so where is the RAM on this computer? The RAM is located right here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I actually have not, um, I've worked on several computers before, and I don't really remember where the RAM is located. I believe it's going to be under this plate, and this is going to be my first guess. So, let's unscrew the plate. I'll just use this, make it easy. There are three screws to remove this plate. It should pop right up for you, but if it does not, you can use a pry tool. Just get in the crevice there and gently pry it up. And there it is. What do you have it? There you have it. I'm sorry. The RAM is located under this one plate here right in the middle of the laptop. You have two compartments, DIM A, DIM B. These two notches on the side, what you're going to do is you're going to pull these outward, and you'll actually feel the RAM pop right out. And you'll see just like that. Once you pull those two kind of le levers down, the RAM should pop up and you should just slide it out just like so. There's the RAM. The model of this RAM is PC25300S for SAM. You always want to make sure you have the exact same make and or type of RAM installed in the system. You don't want two different brands. I, I mean, I, I personally don't think it's going to hurt the computer, but just to make sure that you're using the computer properly and installing the right RAM, might as well, it's going to come with the upgrade kit either way. Just get the same RAM and install it on the computer, whether that's one 2-gig sticks, um, or one 2-gig stick, two 2-gig two sticks, or four 4-gig sticks. I'm sorry, two 4-gig sticks. <laughs> I'm so confused. I've done a couple of videos today already. Uh, you can get the RAM from Crucial's website. That's crucial.com. You can type in the make and model of the computer there, and you'll actually be able to see what the maximum capacity of RAM this computer can take. Now, I believe with a 32-bit operating system, this computer should have no problem running 4 gigs of RAM. If I'm not mistaken, it actually goes up to 8 gigs, but before you do and order the RAM for it, you want to, again, go to Crucial's website, crucial.com. I don't work for them. I just use their site a lot, and find out what the total max RAM is for this computer. Once you actually receive the new RAM, all you're going to do is line up the notch, the little I'm sorry, the little notch here. And once you have it lined up, you should hear it. Click right in. I'm going to go ahead and line up this top one here. Again, lining up the little notch on the RAM with the notch on the slot here push it down and you should hear it snap back in. Go ahead and put your back plate back on there. Oh, excuse me, I didn't have that installed properly. You want to make sure that that's installed properly before you start to screw it back in. I was trying to use my electric and uh, just being lazy. There's only three screws here. So, there you have it. We have successfully uninstalled the RAM on a Dell Inspiron 1420 laptop computer. I've shown you all how to uh, 
identify where the RAM is located on the system, which is in this compartment here, where to order the RAM, the make, and, I'm sorry, the model of the RAM, and what I believe you can upgrade to. Again, go to Crucial's website just to confirm what I'm, uh, just to confirm the max uh, capacity of the RAM, but I believe that it is four gigs only on this system. It might take six or eight, but again, go to Crucial's website. So, if you all have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. Uh, come by Facebook. We're also on Facebook. Say hi to us there. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. Uh, follow us on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. And come check out our website. We have a blog on there. That is www.itconflict.com forward slash blog. Please remember to like our like our posts, our videos, subscribe on our YouTube channel, um, follow us on Twitter. We sincerely appreciate your support. We'll be more than happy to help you guys out if you have any questions or concerns. Um, again, my name is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks again for watching.